Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new and in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be reviewing the ColourPop Limoncello collection that they just dropped. Such a beautiful collection. It's really captivating to the eye, especially for like the spring summertime. It's a really yellow based collection and I was like, I have to get my hands on it. I saw it yesterday and I was like, let me get it. So I have it right here. So we're going to be using the eyeshadow palette and the eyeliner and the lip gloss so that we can see what it's about if it's cute if it's not we can tell um and yeah i'm gonna include prices and everything on the screen while i'm going through each item so no worries about that but if you guys want to see my thoughts on this cute little collection then please keep watching the eyeshadow palette which is so pretty i think it has 12 shades yeah, 12 shades, and I think the packaging is so pretty and aesthetically pleasing, like the yellow and the blue. And that's what really caught my eye when it came to this collection as well. So we're going to be playing off of that color scheme today. Also got the um, Palazzo eyeliner, which is the navy blue, because I don't have a navy blue eyeliner, and I thought this was pretty freaking pretty. They came out with a yellow, and I already have a yellow liner from ColourPop, so I was like, let me get the blue one because it looks pretty and i also got the luxe lip gloss in the shade come through i believe the other one is just like a sheer tint lip gloss where this one is sheer tint but has shimmer and i wanted that so yeah let's go ahead and open the palette i am so excited i had a different look planned in mind today but then i saw this palette yesterday in store and i was like oh she's spending her money but I guess it's fine, right? So this is what the palette looks like, just like the packaging, so pretty. And then you open it and boom, oh, thank God. I was trying to remember if I had a um, mirror or not, but this is what it looks like. Ah, she's gorgeous. Let's just hop right into it. I'm done enough talking. So I, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna take the yellow shade, which is Amalafi. I, I apologize if I'm pronouncing these wrong. Like, I don't know. By the way, hold on, this mirror is gorgeous. I think I said the same thing with the Lizzie McGuire collection. This mirror is stunning. So I'm gonna take the yellow shade and that's gonna go right into my crease. And I'm using the Morphe Extract and Hill H33 brush to do so. Not bad, it's coming off very pigmented. There's fallout in the pan, but I expect that with ColourPop shadows, but they're so pigmented that I don't mind. If a shadow is not pigmented but has fallout, then that is where the problem lies, in my opinion. Do you see how like good this is showing up on my eye? It's so pretty. Yeah, this is like one of the prettiest yellow shades that I've used in a very, very long time. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral. I'm going to carve out my crease. Just like so. Not a half cut crease. We're cutting out the full lid. like you guys already know what I'm gonna do well obviously you've seen the thumbnail right anyways I'm gonna take the shade La Festa and I'm just going to use this um, flat Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm gonna apply that right smack on there hoping and praying that it looks good because if not nothing I'm not redoing it <laughs> I feel like a lemon. I don't know why.
I'm loving that. I love the contrast, but it's not complete. I'm going to go ahead and do my skin um, because my camera's dying. I need to charge it too. So I'm going to do my face and I'm going to come back and then we're going to use the liner and the lip gloss. So I will be right back. Hey, I am back. A lot has happened. Um, I have finished my face. I also changed my shirt. That is because my foundation decided to fall on my shirt. And I'm freaking out on the inside because if it doesn't come out, I literally don't know what I'm going to do. So yeah, um, I have finished the base. We're going to get back into these eyes. We're taking the new cream gel liner in Palazzo. I literally don't even want to get rid of this packaging. Like, it's so pretty. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. This is the swatch. Let's swatch it. She's Gorge. I'm going to use that on my waterline. I'm fed up. No lie, I'm fed up. I have to switch shirts. I'm fed up. Anyways, um, I'm going to take it across the whole line, uh, waterline. I normally do um, halfway, but I'm going to take it across the entire waterline. It literally matches the lid shade that we have on, which I was hoping for, so I really like that. It matches the La Festa shade, so I'm happy. This is such a nice palette. Oh my god, okay. I'm happy with that. I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going to take the one of the deeper browns, the semi-frito or the deeper toned browns in this palette. And I'm going to smoke out. We'll see what that looks like. Well, that didn't do a thing because it's similar to the skin tone. And then I'm going to take the grotto. And use that. Fat is pretty, actually. I'm gonna go in and emphasize the liner a little bit more. Then I'm going to apply my lower lash line mascara. Um, cute. For the inner corner, I wanted to do something different. So I wanna take my Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in Cloud, which is like a pinky tone, and I wanna apply that to the inner corner to kind of bring some like pink. Oh, yes. Okay, that was a good idea. Thank God. I'm loving where this is going or where this look has gone. I'm going to set my skin one more time with the Cover FX Dewy Finish Shedding Spray. I have to say this really does make my skin dewy. I normally like to go for a matte look, but I apply that over top so things don't look too cakey, and it just creates the perfect dew. I've been getting compliments on it, so I'm like, okay, cover effects, do your thing, girl. So, going into the lips, so I'm going to take my NYX Lip Suede um, Matte Lip Liner in Club Hopper and line. Then I'm going to take my ColourPop Concealer in Medium Sand and apply that to the center. Then I'm going to take my ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in shade Butter, which is a nice cream shade and a cream finish. I really like this one. I don't think they have it anymore. <laughs> but take your favorite nude, your favorite pinky nude. And boom. I'm going to fix the liner a bit to emphasize it. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the gloss of this collection, which is um, in the shade Come Through. No button to call, come through. Yo, that Stila um, liquid eyeshadow was such a perfect add-on to this. But this is what it looks like. And we're going to apply that to the lips. Let's see. I like this formula. I don't think I've tried this formula from them. And it smells really good, too. I like it a lot. It has a nice, subtle like gloss finish 
this is a nice gloss. I like this a lot. I do want to make uh, my lips a little bit more nude. So sometimes what I do when I've already applied gloss, I just take that concealer and apply it. But it doesn't take away the glossy finish, which I like. I'm going to set one more time because you can never set too much. I mean, I guess you could, but like, we're not. Alright guys, so that is the final look using the Limoncello Collection by Colourpop. These are my final thoughts. I absolutely love this palette. I love how it feels so heavy duty too. I'm like, girl, I am I... Was this 30 or 18? Like, I don't know. It's just the perfect spring summer palette. You have your nice um, browns along with the yellows and then one deep brown and then one blue to kind of throw you in for a whirl and boy did it do that it's so pigmented and pretty there is fallout in the pan but i expect that with color pop palettes they've pretty much always had fallout so i don't find it to be that big of an issue especially if the colors are paying off but i know some people do and plus it could be a waste of product as well because you literally have the same amount that you're using on your eye going into your palette like what is that um, next, we used their um, cream gel liner in the shade Palazzo. I already knew that I loved this formula. I love their cream gel liners like I showed you. I have quite a few, but this is the one that I just have on hand. That would have been really pretty with this look, actually, now that I think about it. Regrets. But I love it. I think the packaging was cute, and it's a nice formula in a really, really pretty shade as well. So I really, really like that they included that. And I had some yellow tones as well that they added. But I didn't feel like I needed the yellow because I already have their yellow. So, But they're more muted, like nude yellow. So they're really pretty shades. But I didn't feel like I personally needed it. And lastly, the Luxe Lip Gloss. Absolutely love. Such a great formula and it smells really good. And I like how like I worked in even like my concealer to kind of make the lip more nude for me. And it's not too thick on the lips or anything and so I really like that it's like a buildable product so um I saw the I saw the blush shades and I didn't pick them up because I was like it looks like an ashy like I don't know it just didn't look like it'd be ow sorry I'm bending I hit my ankle their blushes didn't seem like they would fit me I mean maybe but I don't know I just was like they, they weren't like pinky I don't know the blushes that I saw in store just didn't appealed to me so I didn't pick them up so that's something that I don't like about the collection because I was like the blushes are eh but um, um I am using the Lizzie McGuire blush that they came out with it's in the shade delish and it's so pretty it has shimmer and I think it went really well with this look also if you guys want full details on my face and everything I'll put that down below and the lips, I'll put it all down below for you guys. Also the Stila, the eyes, everything. Everything I'll put down below, okay? But overall, I do like this collection. I'll give this collection probably a 9 out of 10. Um, I really, really like the palette. I think it's such a pretty color scheme. And it really makes me feel like I'm going on vacation. I don't know. It's so pretty to me. And I love it. I love that. I, I really wouldn't have thought to put these colors together. But when I saw the palette and the packaging... It literally makes you want to put those colors together because that's the whole color scheme. So I think it's really pretty and I like it. Um, I do wish that like with their collections they'd come out with instead of two blush shades maybe four to five. So that each range of a skin tone can have a shade but that's just my opinion. And if they don't want to do that that's fine I guess won't be getting your blushes. But I do like that Lizzie McGuire blush so that was a good one that I think had um a few shades of, i don't know maybe two um but yeah i really love how this came out i'm so happy with this 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 was a good purchase like honestly you just got paid you want some new makeup you want something that's summery fun fresh but still in your comfort zone this will be your girl um and i also really love the liner i think that those these two items are like my favorite i i always love a gloss like i'm always gonna love a gloss so like is it fair for me to say it's my favorite? Because I'm always going to love it. But yeah, 
I really like this collection so and I think it was good that they came out with something different like this. The Lizzie McGuire collection was different too with their shades so this too I think was a good back-to-back -back launch. Let me know what you guys think down below of this collection and of this look. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. About the collection, don't tell me if you hate the look because like I'm gonna be a little sad. No, I'm not gonna be a little sad but I'm gonna dang you a hater. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave anything that you would like me to review in regards to makeup down below because I love trying out new things and I love experimenting with makeup. I do have some of the LA Girl, their bigger palettes. I have this one and then the pink one. So if you guys want to see a full on video on that, let me know. I could do like two separate eyes. Let me know down below. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Shouldn't be no hold up, hold up If I lost my emotions, show up If you're down to roll up Meet me on the west side, burn me